as cute of a horseshoe crab. Some people think they're dangerous animals because they have a sharp tails, but they're totally harmless. Actually, they're just clumsy and they use their tail to flip themselves back if they get overturned by a wave. But never pick it up by its tails as you can harm it. Instead, use both hands and the front of the shells. They gather in large nesting groups on the beaches of the mid-Atlantic states in the spring and the summer. When mating, the smaller male crab hooks himself to the top of the larger female shell by using his specialized front claws and together they crawl to the beach. The male fertilizes the eggs as the female lays them in the nest in the sand. Some males, called satellite males, do not attach to females, but still have success in fertilizing the female eggs by hanging around the attached pair. Most nesting activity take place during the high tides around the time of the new full moon. Horseshoe crabs are living fossil, meaning they have existed in early and changed for at least 445 million years, well before even dinosaurs existed. Actually, they're not crabs at all. They are much more closely related to spiders and other arachnids than they are to crabs and lobsters. They are not picky eaters. They eat almost anything. They feed on small clams, crustaceans and worms. But because they have no mandibles or teeth, they crush hard food between their legs before passing it to their mouth. Horseshoe crabs are listed as a vulnerable species. They are the only one that have a blood clotting agent known as LAL, which clots in the presence of certain groups of bacteria. American biomedical companies capture some 500,000 horseshoe crabs a year. Even though they eventually return to the ocean, 30% of them die in the process. Especially considering that a female will lay about 80,000 eggs. If you see a horseshoe crab on the beach, be kind to them and enjoy them.